hello and welcome it's Jilly Kim and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland Australia looking to do something today really bright and cheerful something to pop your socks off um, if you're not into really bright and cheerful you can still watch it um, it might just cheer you up I did this piece uh, yesterday and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. It's just drying beautifully and the detail in it is you beaut super duper. So this is put me in a really good mood to do, do something further, you know, even brighter and hopefully more beautiful. But um, when that's dry, that absolutely de deserves a coat of either varnish or resin and I've got a nice um, frame to put around that, like a natural edge frame, which I'll show you guys in another video, but that's, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. That was lovely. So I, like I said, it's just spurned me on to do something for those that are heading into summer. So I don't do this very often, put a really yellow as my main base down, but I really wanted to do something just absolutely bright and uplifting. So what's, <laughs> there's not much brighter and uplifting than yellow. That's really thick. I might need to add a bit. Oh gosh, I'm sticking to that. Um, I might need to add, I'm just gonna add, I could add water to that, but I'm actually gonna add some Aussie Flow Troll to that mix. I obviously pre-made it up and it was a little bit too thick. But I'm just going to put Floetrol in it because it'll help with my creation of cells, I hope, in there. So just put some Floetrol. Um, yes, I'm lucky enough to live in Australia and get those uh, four litres. Is it four litres? Yeah, four litres of Floetrol very easily. But it's still expensive here, nearly $60. If you're only using Floetrol for... Um, bloom effects and you only use a tiny little bit but I quite often not all the time now put flow troll in instead of silicone and I find it gives me just the lovely <laughs> stick into it it gives me the lovely cells that silicone does so um, without the mess of silicon on your canvas when you come to um, varnish it or anything having flow troll doesn't give you the same problem so really like to add a uh, flow troll now instead of instead of silicon um but yeah so i get the nice cells with that also the pouring medium that i use you don't have to or that i make you don't have to add silicon i still get cells from that on its own so husband's just come in and helping himself to his five o'clock special <laughs> which is a beer in Australia. It's, what's the saying, John? It's five o'clock somewhere. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, um, it's the same, we're having a really nice sunny day here and my hubby's been working in my studio, so I'm probably gonna go up there after this piece of art and take another progress uh, video. Just gonna do the fly screens and I'm finished. Done the, just the fly screens and he's finished well they heard that so they're <laughs> witness to it <laughs> but, uh, well, that's been good a plumber today. oh you've been a plumber today yeah he's definitely wore a lot of hats during this renovation he's been a plumber electrician a painter a floor layer what else concrete. oh concreter yeah um roofer yeah got on the roof mm. and put some new roofing on Structural designer. Oh, structural designer. I thought that was me. I thought I'd point my finger here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> oh, the buckets. <laughs> Okie doke. Next bright and uplifting colour is, of course, orange and lemons. What, what better? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That one's so orange and lemons. Yummy, yummy. Citrus, citrus um, delight, I suppose. I'm not oh. sure I'm talking to my, yeah, citrus delight. So yeah, it's really lovely. Fresh and uplifting. 
So I am going to just use this sponge brush while I've got the paint on it to just do my edges of my, this is a gallery wrapped canvas and it's 60 by 40. So it's a nice canvas, um, nice deep edge canvas. So this one will deserve, hopefully, if it all comes out according to my vision, that doesn't very often happen. Even if I am pleased with it in the end, it's sometimes definitely not what I envisaged. But anyway, we can give it a go. So that's the edges done. Right, that is you super duper colourful. Probably too colourful for some, but that's that's just it, isn't it? Just go with the flow. Do what your heart desires, your art room, your rules, your way. Now I'm going to maybe... This is the purple with Auss Aussie Flow Troll. So I might do a nice thick line along here and swipe it to get some lacy effects as my background. Uh, maybe I'll use, maybe I should use a bit thicker than that. Use a soft plastic file divider as my swipey tool, but that one's a little bit wide. So for what I want to do, because offset, so I'll just cut it down a little bit. So you can do that with the soft plastic file dividers. They just um, definitely adapt. And that's got little champagne cells popping up in there. So I'll do that as my background. That's gorgeous. As you're just putting the very tip of your soft plastic file divider in that swipe bit and just Letting it slide through nice and easy through your paint. And you can do these slides, I call them Aussie slides because it's with Australian flow troll and they're sliding, literally letting your soft plastic file divider just slide through the paint. I will just have some wispy bits in the not right the way through. So remember, however you to know your creative prowess wants to take your art, you do it. You don't have to do the same as anyone else. You get the ideas from other artists. And then uh, try and make it your own. You go on your own merry way. Have fun if you do it with friends or your children or your grandchildren. It's definitely something the whole family can get involved with for sure. And it's all just practice. Rightio. <laughs> I mean, I could do the swipes fully because these cells, I really need you to come down and have a look at these cells. They're so... Look at these cells. Gorgeous. Rightio, on with the... Um, pop your socks, some more sort of embellishments now I've got some I just I'd use the last of some white paint out of one of my big um, containers and it's got the marbles in the bottom but it's still got a bit of paint in there so of course I don't want to um, waste any paint and then I'll so I'm just using this white that I've got in this cup and then I can wash my marbles don't want to lose my marbles I think I've already lost them for sure. No. Rightio, what's that? And then I'll put some straight. 
strawberry. So I've got all the fruit going in here today, haven't I? Got the oranges and lemons, and now I've got the strawberries. And I've got the black currants with this white colour was purple, black currant. Beautiful. And definitely needs. This is the um, phalo blue, so it will make it all pop, hopefully. Do its trick. So it's doing the wiggles right the way through. Just take it nice and slow. You don't have to tread on as quickly as I'm doing. Just take it nice and slow and enjoy the process. Remember, that's what it's it's all about. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more yellow in that mix here. This is more of a sorbet yellow, this one. This is one I had mixed up. Rightio, um, the only thing, what do I want to add? Just some purple. Some purple. Because you know what I'm going to be doing through that, don't you? You certainly will. Um, well, I'm actually going to, believe it or not, I'm going to swipe through it. I know it looks messy when you see it, but please bear with me. Don't go um, AWOL and leave me right now. Give me an opportunity to show you. This is just some white mixed up with the Aussie Flow Troll again. Ooh. I'm going to swipe through those colours because it will give me all the lovely cells. Soften up. Do the same back through this way. No, it looks messy at the minute, but the cells are just coming up like gems. They are gorgeous. So I'll bring you down and have a look in a second. Let's give this a hit with the heat gun. It brings the heat gun, the heat wand will bring up the cells beautifully. This is the, um, the purple again. I just want to do some more light wispy bits and see what I can bring up with the purple. Maybe I've got enough going on in there. Radio. I think I'll get into my magic balloon art magic. It is always good to have a second canvas because you can absolutely use your balloon on the second canvas. So I've got balloon, put the belly button through your finger, keep it soft so you've got a nice grip on it. And even though all those colors look as though they disappeared, they're all gonna come up once you hit it with this. Look at that. Oh, wow, I need another canvas. Yes, you can certainly kiss on the other canvas. I think I did it on a video yesterday that I had the second canvas all prepared. So those colors then, all of the colors I've layered in there, they show their beautiful face again. But yes, you can absolutely be pressing those colors onto another canvas. Oh, and they are gorgeous. It's definitely what I wanted it to be was something really bright and uplifting you can use. I suppose I could put a few in here. That wouldn't harm anything, would it? Look at that. Wowzers trousers. Oh, that is so beautiful.
gorgeous. I don't want to put too many though, she says. <laughs> oh dear. I'll just add some very light rolls in there that make them look very soft and delicate. Um, I might not use that large balloon any further, but I have always got beside me a smaller, well, it's a normal size balloon, but just with a bit of water in it, adds a bit of weight. I don't put water in any more than this because I've tried that before and it's just ended up completely ruining my work if it bursts. So this one just adds a little bit of weight to go in the center of those um, balloon kisses and then make even more detail in the center. And then you can add them to your artwork or as I said before, you can put them onto a second canvas. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy with that. There's not much more that brighter and sunny and uplifting than that for sure. It's bringing that yellow back through. I'm really, really happy with that. I could soften up these edges here and blow them out, I guess. I mean, somebody might want to do that, but I'm really hoping that those cells in there, they, they just look like gems in there and they've given a really lovely effect to the balloon kiss. That is really bright and uplifting. I'll bring you down and have one final look and then um, we'll move on from there. Wow, look at this. How wonderful is that? That's just gorgeous. So the in-between has got a whole lot going on for it itself. I'll come down the rainbow chain. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous balloon magic, for sure. Just as an artist would use their palette knife, the balloon does me any day. <laughs> Very happy. There's those little wispy bits and my balloon kisses that I gave. I probably could push the small balloon in those to, let's give this a go, I'm holding my camera at the same time, it can't, <laughs> um, but super happy with that, super happy with the effects, and it's really, really bright and uplifting, so couldn't get more bright and uplifting for those entering summer or spring. This is my contribution for a spring garden or a carnival bouquet. All right, my lovelies, I had fun doing this. It's lifted my spirits and I hope it has you too. Please take care and I will be here again tomorrow. So please join me. Bye for now.